If you could make even one person smile today, wouldn't it be a marvelous day? Welcome to the Hack Learning Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Barnes, providing right now solutions to some of your biggest teaching and learning problems. Now, let's hack learning. Today, we are talking about smiling. And what a cool thing to discuss when you think about it. But what we're really doing is hacking positivity. And we're talking about three surefire ways to make your stakeholders smile. Now, I'm not sure who your stakeholders are. Maybe if you're listening to the Hack Learning Podcast, episode 55, you might be a teacher and stakeholders are your students. You might be a school leader, a principal, a superintendent, and perhaps your stakeholders are, in that case, the whole net of people excited about teaching and learning. Uh, school leaders, teachers, students, parents, and we need to be positive to excite our stakeholders, to get them to want to be better, to be better at teaching, to be better at learning. And we need all of our stakeholders to be a part of that. And what better way than to create or, or instill a, an attitude of positivity? So today, what I'm going to do is borrow from the great book, Hacking Leadership, 10 Ways Great Leaders Inspire Learning That Teachers, Students, and Parents Love by Joe Sanfilippo and Tony Sinanis. It's a fabulous bestseller. You can get it on Amazon and also at hacklearningbooks.com. But what I would like to do is to take just a small section from Joe and Tony and their book, Hacking Leadership, and to implement it here in the Hack Learning Podcast to really emphasize this idea of positivity. Now, I don't know that they even use the word positivity in the book, but hacking leadership is all about positivity. It's about building a culture uh, of inspired teachers and learners. Uh, In that subtitle, 10 Ways Great Leaders Inspire Learning That Teachers, Students, and Parents Love, that's what this book's about. It isn't just about being a good leader. What it's about is leading from the middle, and when you do that and you involve all stakeholders, you become a great leader and you create an amazing environment. Yes, that's certainly worth cheering and something that we definitely need in education, and in other places. And why not start with making people smile? So here today, what we want to do is provide three ways to make stakeholders smile. And again, go back to the beginning when we talked about your stakeholders. Who are they? You know. But if you can make them smile, they're positive, and man, we are off to a fantastic start in revolutionizing teaching and learning. So here we go. From Hacking Leadership, and uh, and this is in one of the sections when that talks about building relationships. Such an important thing for all teachers and leaders. So, number one, Tony and Joe suggest that you write positive notes. Now, that sounds simple, right? But that's hack learning. We do things that are simple, and we show them to you through maybe a different lens. And we, we uh, show you a path that uh, these assets provide to make learning better. So write positive notes. And they say, start your day by writing two positive notes to staff members. And it could be stakeholders. It could be students as well. Now imagine what a simple thing this is. And, and you could use, the guy suggests maybe using some sort of a, a, a card, an index card or a postcard or something like that. But this could really be anything. When you think about it, it could be a sticky note, right? So if you're a teacher, Imagine, and, and I know pushback. You know, we deal with pushback in hack learning. A lot of people say, well, I have 120, 140 students, so how am I going to do this? How am I going to put one in every hand? Well, imagine if you did what Tony and Joe suggested and did two per day. You start your day. It's a quick note. It's a positive note. It's something good about the person. It's telling them that they matter. And if you just did two of those a day and you have over 100 students, you'll only be a couple of months into your year before you've hit everyone. And think of the rapport you build 
with students when you do this. And if you're a school leader, you'll get through it much more quickly. You'll hit your entire staff very quickly. And again, you build rapport and you make them smile. There's nothing like getting a positive note. You know, a year ago I put a, and I should do this more often, I need to take my own advice. But I I decided one morning, I was up early and no one at my house was up, and I, I wanted to send my kids to school with, with something extra, something that just said, hey, you mean a lot to me. And I put a little note, a positive note, in their backpacks. And they came home, and as soon as they walked in, their faces were just bright with smiles. I mean, it was they were so happy, and they ran up to me, and they hugged me, and they said, thank you for the note. And it was a simple, simple thing. But boy, it meant a lot to them. And your attitude changes when you're happy and when you start with a smile. Here's another of the three surefire ways to make stakeholders smile. And this comes from Hacking Leadership. Make five positive phone calls about students or stakeholders to start or end your week. Okay, so again, if I'm a teacher, I'm thinking five phone calls. Now, you know, when I was a teacher, I didn't like to make phone calls home. Because, I don't know, I, I, I didn't want to talk to parents. I thought it was only going to be something bad. Typically, it was a negative phone call. And, and there's just nothing good about it. And sometimes they go long and then you get into big, deep discussions. And ultimately, sometimes they lead to further meetings. And, you know, I just thought, boy, if I get on the phone, it's just going to create problems for me. So I didn't make a lot of calls. But imagine if you made five calls a week. Put this on your Friday to-do list. And if you don't want to do it on Fridays, because I know a lot of people like to get out of work, you know, let's go. And I, and believe me, I'm all for that. Uh, so maybe it's Thursday even. Maybe it's a Saturday morning at home. It wouldn't take long. And you, you set this up ahead. You create your list. If you're a classroom teacher, you're using some sort of an automated program, maybe an online grade book, uh, or even a seating chart. And you're just checking them off. And think ahead what you want to say. And don't make it too canned, you know. But you're thinking of sort of a template where you're going to say each call is going to be just this, hey, I wanted to say something positive about and and fill in the blank. Or, hey, I I just had something I wanted to share with you that happened this week about and fill in the, the student's name. And you can do this with workers too. If you're a leader, you can do the same thing. And, in fact, if you have a small staff, you can make fewer than five. You might you might make one, uh, depending on how many you have. And it's outside of work, you know. If I'm a school leader and I just call a teacher and say, hey, I, I noticed that you uh, did X this week. And, boy, it really means a lot to me. And it makes my job easier and it makes our school run better. Boy, that's going to go so far for you. And what's it going to do for that stakeholder? Well, it's going to make them smile. And the smile is a powerful thing. I'm smiling right now, if you could see me. But maybe you can hear it in my voice. It's exciting, and it's powerful, and it makes you better in every way. Hey, we're talking about hacking leadership. And I know I've got one more surefire way to make stakeholders smile. But before I get to that, we're talking a little bit about hacking leadership. And today... For Hack Learning Podcast listeners, I want to tell you about the Hacking Leadership Boot Camp. And this is coming up, if you're hearing this episode when it launches on Wednesday, August 3rd, then time's running out. Uh, the boot camp's coming up August 5th, 6th, and 7th. Now, this will come again, so if you're hearing this after that time, no problem. It'll come again, and we'll let you know when. This is an online event, and you get complete total access to Joe Sanfilippo and Tony Sinanis. These are two of the finest leaders you will find anywhere, not just in schools. If you're listening to this and you're you're not an educator, you're in the private sector, but somehow you're a leader, either from the top or from within your organization, you, you can't do yourself a bigger favor than to have complete access for three days to Joe Sanfilippo and Tony Sinanis, two amazing leaders who are going to teach you how to lead from the middle. And believe me, that is a powerful thing. And they are going to provide about 25 different handouts that you can take back to work with you 
that give you the kinds of ideas I'm sharing today. You know, what does a positive note look like? How does the positive phone call work? They talk about engaging students by giving them a voice, and you can do that with staff members as well. Uh, and, they, and they outline these things step by step. They'll provide video. There's a private Facebook group in the boot camp. They will do live video there. They'll interact with you every day. They have a schedule that includes uh, up to three different times each day that they will be somewhere in cyberspace where you can interact with them, live streaming video. You can ask questions. You can hear their amazing uh, strategies, hacks for leadership. And uh, it's exclusive material. It's built off of their book, Hacking Leadership, but it's truly exclusive material that no one else has. What I want you to do today, because you're a listener, uh, go to hackingleadershipbootcamp.com. And this is linked on our show notes page at hacklearningpodcast.com. Hackingleadershipbootcamp.com. Learn all about it. See what you're going to get. It's all there. Instant access. And today, because you're listening, you can get 30% off, and this is huge, 30% off of the boot camp. Just use coupon code LEADNOW. And this is on our show notes page, in case you forget. But of course, you can always rewind. That's the beauty of the podcast. Uh, Coupon code LEADNOW saves you 30%. It's hackingleadershipbootcamp.com, linked on our show notes. Use coupon code LEADNOW, save 30%. This is an event that you will tell everyone, I can't believe the value that I got and what I learned from two unbelievable leaders, and it's going to make you better, and it'll make you smile. And speaking of that, we've got one more in our three surefire ways to make your stakeholders smile. So number one, we said write positive notes, two, make positive phone calls, and three, Love this one. We're going to send cards to family members. Now think about this. Who are these family members? Well, if if you're a classroom teacher, they're most likely students, but they could be colleagues. Okay, they could be the people you work with. You're a group in a group with or a committee. Uh, they could be your school leaders. Anyone who makes you better. And what Tony and Joe say in hacking leadership is that what they do is they send cards to family members. And these family members, you know, they could be uh, spouses, they, they could be children, other family members, but there's someone who is related to a staff member. And what they do is they just say something nice about the person. They share the value that that person brings to their school or workplace. And it it means so much. You think about this. You know, they say, we often forget that the people we work with go home to an entirely different life. When they need to uh, tend to so everyone stays happy. They need to tend to. They have to tend to that family. How often do we thank you say thank you to those who help our staff members. And that's really what this is. The card home is a, hey, I I just want to thank you for and name the person because he or she is so valuable to me and makes our organization better. And I know you're a part of that because you're a support mechanism for the other person. That is powerful. And you know what that will do to the person to your staff member, to your student, to your colleague whose loved one gets a note from you, it'll make them smile. And when they smile, they'll come back positive, they'll be excited, and your entire workplace, school will be better. And this is what we're doing, is we're getting people to smile, we're making them happy, and we're making our workplace and our school a marvelous, rich place of teaching and learning. Hey, make someone smile today. As always, we continue the conversation at hashtag HackLearning on Twitter and on the show notes page at HackLearningPodcast.com. Thanks for listening. See you next time.